Cancer. Let's see what's coming up for you guys in the month of September. Ooh, bad shuffle. By the way, um, if you guys are trying to support what I do, please make sure you send stars. You can send tips. Thank you to those who are sending something. Um, but you can also just, if you can't do that, you can comment an emoji underneath the video. You can react to the video, like it, share it, follow, subscribe, you know, do what you can to push the algorithm, okay? Then I know you appreciate my time and energy. All right, let's see what's coming up for Cancer in September. What's coming up for Cancer in the month of September? Cancer. Okay, we start off with two eights, eight of pentacles and eight of wands. What's coming up for Cancer in September? Three of Pentacles, Cancer, September. Oh, okay. Page of Wands, ooh, King of Pentacles, nice. And the Two of Wands, okay. We've got the Six of Swords, Eight of Cups, the Sun. All right, all right. So you are in transition, Cancer. This, this card um, in this deck specifically makes me think of when you're traveling and you know when you're in between, like let's say you just got off one plane and you're about to get on another. That's where you're at right now. You're not at your destination yet. You're in between. And you might be a little frustrated, but don't be. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Solutions are already being put in place. With the Eight of Cups, whatever you walked away from, whatever you left behind, you have to trust that you did that with good reason. Don't start second guessing yourself. And FYI, for those of you who are into numerology, I love that we've got Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, 888. Go look that up because that is powerful. Um, that's what's leading to happiness. You just have to trust that, is, that the decision you took to move to a better shore, to move to a better place, is the correct decision. Now, Eight of Pentacles, this could be work, well, I was going to say work-wise and involved with work. This could be work-oriented, this reading. With the Eight of Pentacles, you may be refining something that you used to know, or you may be creating something, but it's not done yet. With the Eight of Wands, I'm sensing a little frustration with this card, which is interesting because I normally never sense that with this. With this card, I sense movement. I sense action. And I do think you're in the middle of taking action, but it's coming from a place of being frustrated. So keep that in mind. We'll, we'll clarify that in a little bit. Three of Pentacles, um, you may be learning some new skills or teaching some new skills. Either way, you're going to have to trust that this isn't, if this is not where you want to be the rest of your life, it won't be. Okay. It's just, you're in the, you're in process. You're in process. Then we've got the page of wands, king of pentacles and the two of wands. So one of you, this is one of, this is you, either you're the page of wands or you're the king of pentacles. Only, you know, if you're the page of wands, I feel like you are there's going to be possibly two types of cancers in this reading. One type is trusting. You're stepping out of your comfort zone. You know that what you walked away from wasn't for you. You're trusting. You're moving forward. You're working on yourself. You're working on your skills. You're taking action. Nine pentacles. I mean, nine ones here. You're not giving up. Others of you are in king of pentacles mode. So this is really good, and then it can also be detrimental, and I'm gonna explain why. The King of Pentacles is somebody who's like the Midas King, right? Everything he touches turns to gold. But on one hand, you're a really committed person. You're the type of person that wants to work hard on things, you wanna build, right? But King of Pentacles is usually at the level of the 10 of Pentacles or above. So it feels like you, you feel like you're downgrading on something. Like you feel like you're losing pentacles. You may be losing money. You may have had an investment go south 
or maybe what you're learning you feel like it's not really for you whatever it is four of pentacles i feel like you're you're almost afraid you may be a little bit in fear right now because you are the king of pentacles because you are used to being so solid and right now you feel like you're not you're not a very solid ground you feel like like you may even feel like you're standing on on quicksand is the image i'm getting like you feel like every move you make you sink further into something and that leads to a decision two of wands so if you're the page of wands cancer then i see you making the decision to to take action right to move forward to step away from whatever it was that that you know was taken away from your happiness and then the king of pentacles i feel like this is somebody who has not made a decision yet they're in the process of making a decision but they're struggling so let's clarify this is the um gilded tarot i've already shuffled let's start clarifying the six of swords okay that was a lot of cards well not too many it's five we'll take them so we start off with the knight of cups emperor three of pentacles five of swords oh and the devil holy shit um cancer <laughs> you okay over there and we've got the page of wands so honestly cancer you could be both of these at different times it could be that you are the page of wands in some moments and then you're the king of pentacles in others um <clears throat> knight of cups whatever you walked away from it's because you had this really idealistic view of how things were going to go and then with the emperor here reality may have hit that maybe things weren't as you thought they were or things weren't as easy as you thought they were um maybe there was still some steps you had to take or maybe there was some patience you had to yeah you had to extend because we've got the five of swords here so whatever it is that you're moving towards there could be misunderstandings with the five of swords and these are are not easy or salt like they're yeah they're not a quick fix type of misunderstanding this is a very deep deep rooted misunderstanding so whatever you're moving towards there could have been really deep misunderstandings or there could have been ego clashes um there could have been nasty words exchanged false accusations thrown around or we are in retrograde season right we're in the shadow period this could be just a lot of delays things that are out of your control but it's creating a lot of frustration for you and then we end up with the devil so for some of you and i'm just gonna be honest cancer i feel like you are <clears throat> you're stepping into a little bit of a toxic energy because we got the five of swords and the devil you may be getting really mean with the people around you because you're frustrated you may be um vindictive you may be like because you are not in a good place you may be really cutting and hurtful and yeah like punching down you're punching down right now cancer and that's not you're not at your best when you do that that's not a good place to be in so six of swords that's where the reminder comes in of you have to remember this isn't going to be the rest of your life this is a moment in time and the way to move past the five of swords is the six of swords finding solutions taking action not sitting there with your thoughts going round and round and round about how everything is going against you how you know life is trying to destroy you all that shit you need to get that shit together okay let's clarify this eight of pentacles clarify eight of pentacles because it's giving you the solution here this is the solution put in the fucking work clarify eight of pentacles my allergies are kicking in ace of swords 
clarify eight of pentacles king of cups justice card and the five of cups oh cancer 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 <clears throat> so for some of you i feel like you're in this five of cups energy the issue with the five of cups is that this person is sitting here mourning and crying over the three cups that have been spilled meanwhile there's two cups behind this person but they're not looking at that they're focused on what has been lost not on what they still have so this is the woe is me energy this is the energy this is how you get into depression this like you get into a depressive state you get into a really um nothing ever turns out right for me state nothing does this nothing does that it's it's almost it's very childlike really that's why the page is beneath that so how do you get past that we get the ace of swords king of cups justice card with the eight of pentacles put in the work whatever it is that's stressing you the fuck out you can fix it the eight of pentacles shows you you can fix it if if you put in the work ace of swords is here so communication is needed something needs to be addressed you may already know what it is because the ace of swords is out of its scabbard the truth is clear to you but i always say when the ace when the sword is pointed downward this may be something you know you just haven't shared this with anybody else but we've got the king of cups here this could have something to do with emotions um this could also do with a creative project because the king of cups is the uh benefactor of arts right he's the he's the sponsor in arts he's the benefactor he's the one that likes creating or endorsing people in the arts so maybe you're you have a creative idea that has come to you but it requires work maybe you need to set things right we do have the justice card here libra energy you could be setting things right with somebody the page of cups also represents an apology um or a message i do think though that whatever it is that's stressing you out you can fix it it's just not you're gonna have to step out of your ego you're gonna have to step out of your five of swords and devil energy hold on let me adjust myself here <clears throat> Let's clarify this Eight of Wands. Clarify Eight of Wands. Clarify Eight of Wands. We get the Queen of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Cups. I mean, clarify Eight of Wands. Clarify Eight of Wands for Cancer. Clarify eight of wands for cancer. Two of wands again. Okay. And the nine of cups with the king of pentacles. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So two of wands have shown up twice it shows up for you and it shows up for whoever this is this could be a water sign or somebody who has a lot of water energy cancer scorpio pisces um but i see i see this person being decisive two of wands eight of wands is the decisiveness right they made a choice they may have made a choice to stay single they may have made a choice to follow their happiness but we've got the nine of cups and the queen here they may have moved towards an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo although we do have taurus energy here whatever their whatever decision this person took 
what's interesting, Cancer, is like this, this could be you. You could have taken this decision to move towards your happiness, to stay single. And if you're dealing with an earth sign, that stressed them the fuck out. Now, if this is, let's say this is a job, right? There's a company you stepped away from because King of Pentacles could be a boss. I think that you're under the impression they don't want you anymore, but they, they do. They need you. They would take you back quickly. So <clears throat> keep that in mind. But if this is a love connection, if you moved away from this earth sign, they're waiting for you. They want you back. And if they're the ones that moved away from you, you may not have told this person that you want them back, but there's a match here for sure. King and Queen of Cups. Let's clarify this Three of Pentacles. We get the King of Wands, Three of Swords. Clarify Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> oh, wow. man okay i'm gonna have to say this because this is what i see i think that there was a there was a third party connection um we get three pinnacles three swords and then we're seeing a relationship here and something ended so if you were, if this applies to you, take it. And if it does not apply to you, don't try to force it onto your situation. But King of Wands, when, when I see this combination here, I'm going to say whoever the King of Wands was, he's greedy. He wants, he wants his cake and to eat it too, right? So he wants, he wants what he wants. And that may have led to a third party situation. And whoever this person is, I felt that they took themselves out. They took themselves out of the running. They took themselves. They ended the third party. They didn't want to be a part of a third. They didn't want to be a third wheel. Whichever person this was. So this could have been the person in the relationship with the King of Wands. Or this could have been the person that knew the King of Wands was in a relationship. One of the two. But Four of Wands with the Two of Cups. I mean, yeah. Let's, let's call a spade a spade, guys. So that ended. That that was like, no, let's not do third party. Let's not do this. Let's clarify this page of wands. Ace of Cups. Seven of Wands and the Judgment card. So Cancer, this could have been you. We did have water energy here, right? This could have been you dealing with the uh, Aries Leo Sag energy or somebody that had a lot of that energy. And you may have been the one decided that the one that decided nine of cups, nine of pentacles to be single, to enjoy yourself and not be involved in third party situations. You're focused on like, I think it was very page of wands, right? It was very uncomfortable. It was scary to end this connection because I think you really cared about this person. You are showing up as a queen of cups in love. But then you go to ace of cups. You pour into yourself. You make sure that you receive the nurturing that you need. You defend your stance because you know you're doing the right thing. So with the seven of wands, you may have gotten like you may have gotten accused of being selfish or cruel or whatever. And you're just like, well, I know I'm doing the right thing. My spirit calls me to do this. I know, I know this will pay off right now. And it, yeah, sword, I mean, sun card energy again. You're focusing on your happiness. You're focusing on being you. Let's clarify this king of pentacles. That's a lot of kings in this reading, by the way. Not only did we start with the emperor, we got the king of wands, king of cups, king of pentacles, like Jesus. Let's clarify this king of pentacles. Of course, they could all be the same one. That's why it's the emperor. We've got the full card, seven of pentacles, five of wands, knight of swords, damn, and the eight. 
of Wands. Now, I do want to clarify that this third party, for some of you, it could just be that this person was investing a lot of energy into something else. Like, maybe they were, the third party could have been work. The third party could have been a company that they're starting. And they just weren't giving you the attention you needed. Or the intimacy, the physical time you needed. Whatever it was, it doesn't have to be another person, okay? Um, with the High Priestess energy here, I don't think the king is you now that we went through this whole thing. I feel like this king of pentacles is somebody else. But there's definitely a strong a strong bond. In fact, they may be able to feel remember over here the five of cups came up. They may be able to feel your grief, your sorrow or that was this is them and it's their grief and sorrow you're feeling. But I do see whoever this king is making a decision. We have the full card here, taking a leap of faith. The seven of pentacles, I feel like this decision didn't come lightly. It's something that they've deliberated on. King of pentacles doesn't invest in anything unless he knows it's going to pay off, right? So it may have even been something that they were really struggling with. Didn't really know what decision to take. But with this knight of swords... And the Eight of Wands together, that's being very decisive. Decisive with communication. Um, I think you're about to hear from this person. They finally made a call. Let's clarify Two of Wands because this was them being, you know, not indecisive, but maybe. Let's see. Clarify Two of Wands. We get the Page of Swords, Two of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Hermit. See? That was that. <laughs> Clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> so for those of you who are aware that you were... Oh, wow, there's another card there. Sorry, the Moon card. I didn't see it. For those of you who are aware that you were in a third-party situation, there was another person. I feel like this person was deciding between you and somebody else. The, the Page of Swords here tells me that they never stopped watching you. They never stopped keeping track of you. Two of Cups, King of Pentacles, they finally made a decision. They made their decision based off of who they truly see a future with. With the Hermit and the Moon card, they may have spent some time away from you. I feel like communication may have even been cut. But it's because they were in decision-making mode. They were trying to make a choice. A long-term choice, yeah. Being very logical. Where, where they saw themselves five, ten years down the road. So I think you're about to hear from this person. Um, and if this is work, this could be your boss calling you and be like, Hey, we need you. Where are you at? What are you doing? Let's see. Clarify the energy for cancer. Or what's the message for cancer? What's the last message for cancer? <laughs> the uncharted sea. Right when I said this is this is like you're in the in-between place. Let's read that. Let's read number 46. The uncharted sea. Stepping into the unknown without a map. Moving beyond your comfort zone. Choosing to do things differently. Trusting in the ebb and flow of life. Being in the dark and letting curiosity lead, the faith that all will be well. Your comfort zone is sometimes exactly that, a safe, familiar harbor you finally come into yourself. You have a sense that you don't need more than what is available right where you've landed in life. Now, however, is not one of those times. Like the archetypal her hero's journey, the universe is inviting you to step into uncharted waters. Something is stirring, adventure is calling. You may want to resist this urge because it will involve leaving your comfort zone, but embarking on this journey is essential for your well-being. Navigating the uncharted aspects of yourself means you won't have a map because no one else has ever been here. On this journey, you cannot rely on the help you would typically expect from others who have gone before you. This new territory is yours to explore. 
You're invited to be a pioneer, a pathmaker, a magical cartographer who draws your map with your own life force as the ink. This is the day to dive into a novel experience and fully immerse yourself in the new. You don't know what the sea of possibility has in store for you, so stay curious and refrain from judgment or the need to label. Give yourself the time and freedom to be curious without the limitations and boundaries projected by your memories or expectations. You are in an amazing place right now, and you will never be the same for surveying these waters. So, Cancer, step out of your comfort zone. Take the decision to pursue whatever it is that you feel called to do, even if you don't know how it's going to work out or how it's going to go. Okay? I'm going to leave the reading here. Um, please comment below and let me know if it resonated or just drop a little emoji, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.